Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with an activity. So we're gonna be here up into three groups. So Fred Row and then you two in the back. <laughs> Cause you guys are so far away from everybody. And then <laughs> the third row, um, you guys would be one group and then can we have two people from the second row join that third group? And then the rest of the people in the second row will be one group. Oh. Oh. People. Okay, two more people. Two more people. Okay, we can make this work then. Okay, so you guys will just be one group then. The third row is one group. Can you guys please go in this corner? And then the second row will be another group in this corner. And then the first row and the two in the back can be in this corner. Two in the back. You're being so far away, right? Problem solving. <laughs> <laughs> Strength, yes. 
course. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Jay Zumai, um, also a junior, uh, third year at UH Hilo. Um, I am the current vice president and uh, also the vice president elect, so I'm keeping my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Melanie, I'm the social chair this year, and I'm the uh, treasurer elect, and this is my sophomore year at UH Hilo. I'm Taylor, and I'm a freshman at UH Hilo. Um, I'm the oh. secretary elect for Circle K. Okay, so before this is the workshop, my part will go on. So basically, we're going to talk about um, what happens after Key Club. So, when you go to college and whatnot, um, there's options like Circle K to get involved in the community and stuff like that. You can stop of the university that you go to. So, our club was um, chartered just recently in last year, 2011. Yeah. No. Yeah. We started to know <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to go through is what is Circle K, um, some opportunities and benefits that come from Circle K and stuff like that, um, some of our projects, socials, events, and whatnot, and also some options. So, as far as colleges go, where can you go if you want to get involved with a Circle K, or possibly if you want to charter a Circle K like we did. I'll hand it off to James for what is Circle K. Okay, guys, so basically Circle K is like a college version of Key Club. Um, well, as far as goals, objectives go. Um, what, there's got, there are obviously some very key differences, like um, we don't really have the whole, um, we don't have to run things by our advisor, we're very self-governing, we're very self-sufficient. Uh, but like Key Clubs and Builders Club and whatnot, we are sponsored by Kiwanis, um, in our case the Kiwanis of East Hawaii, where they're pretty on it, so. Um, that's our model, live to serve, love to serve, pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. Uh, tenants, um, service, obviously we're a leader, we're a, we're a service uh, club, we uh, you know, try to help the community make it a better place. Um, leadership, because like, you know, we have to run things through our advisors and stuff, we really have to take it upon ourselves, it really does stress that leadership quality. And fellowship, you know, having that sense of people always relying on you and then relying on others really helps build your friendship and your trust in each other. Okay, so we're going to go into some opportunities and benefits because I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, hey, I did my service in high school, why do I have to keep on going? Okay. So um, professional and personal development kind of go hand in hand. Um, in high school, I was a part of the um, student activities, student government, stuff like that, as well as class activities and whatnot. And I felt going out of high school that I was well prepared for more and stuff like that. I thought that I could take on anything. Um, I had some of the communication and public speaking and whatnot, organization skills, but when I had to, uh, when I stepped into Circle K and when we had to charter, my whole perspective kind of changed because, um, yeah, it wasn't as, a lot of my abilities weren't as strong. Hi, Keith. <laughs> So you guys did. You guys didn't make the connection. I'm Keegan's brother. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, so a lot of the public speaking, communication, um, organization skills that I thought I had weren't as developed as I had liked them to be. So um, it was kind of difficult going in, but um, as time progressed and as I got more involved in Circle K, um, a lot of those abilities got stronger. Um, networking, mm, so last summer I had gone to the international convention for Circle K. It was in Virginia Beach and um, I got to meet a lot of people within my division, within my district and also part of international and I made some of those connections and kept them um, until now. So I feel like by being able to network, um, 
helps me possibly prepare for the future and stuff like that. Um, if I ever need like recommendations or <clears throat> like just anything in general, I feel like I could possibly talk to them and see if they have anything. And also like as far as projects and socials and stuff like that, if they have any ideas. Um, what also goes into that is um, we have to network within our school because when we first started, um, we hardly had any projects. So um, we basically relied on our Kiwanis to start off our, a lot of the K-Founding projects and we will basically piggyback off of that. So what we wanted to do was get more involved within our campus. So what we did was we worked with our student activities um, and whatnot and we tried recruiting some members in student activities that are involved with that and kind of work hand in hand as far as assisting them so we did like midterm batch and whatnot and assist them in like ongoing activities that go on on campus and then self gratification kind of self-explanatory for those of you that um, joined key club for the service um, like I was a part of a service club in high school and when I moved up to UH there was hardly like other than I have to find a lot of the volunteer opportunities on my own. So I feel like through Circle K, it gives you that outlet and that opportunity to continue service and not have to kind of scrounge around your community or campus trying to find service activities on your own. So now we'll go into, speaking of service and stuff like that, we'll go into some of our projects, socials, and events that our club has personally done. Okay guys, so obviously I'm not going to tell you guys about every project we did, that's going to take too much time, but um, you know, so one of some of the big things that we were involved in is um, Radio for Life, you know, our campus hosts its own one in March, and then there's a community one in July, um, so uh, it's like an overnight thing, you know, a lot of fun, it almost turns into a social really, because you're not really, you know, working the whole night, but um, a lot of fun, you get to, you know, dress up a dude as a chick and get him parade him around, it's really awkward. <laughs> Okay, uh, another thing, like we do a lot of socials. Uh, on Bangladesh, you can see uh, we actually we all went to Zumba one time. Um, that one in particular was a black white Zumba, um, and all the proceeds went to help the victims of the tsunami in Japan. Um, and we'd like to, yes, you were actually. Um, we'd like to uh, help out with uh, other organizations in our community, like um, the YMCA, YWCA, and uh, of course our campus itself. Uh, one thing that you mentioned earlier was the midterm bash. It's a free concert um, that the UH hosts. Uh, so uh, one thing that we did was uh, like kind of like a security detail almost of uh, admissions, um, just kind of walking around, making sure it's all good. We also got to work with, like, because we were on site, we got to meet a lot of the bands that came to perform and basically help the hospitality room. So it was a good, it wasn't really a networking that you really need, but it was cool to kind of meet some of the people that performed for the campus. I all want to be sure to Okay, so now we're gonna go into options. So just to raise our hands, how many people are thinking of staying within state for college? Well, you're in luck because we have three schools within our state. <laughs> that have circle K's, one of them being you and Hilo. I mean, you guys want to come to Hilo. Okay, so we have, we have Hawaii Pacific University, we have UH Hilo, and we also have UH Manoa. So what we're trying to do right now is try to connect with them and possibly collaborate. It's kind of hard seeing how there's that distance between Hilo and Oahu. But we feel like once we've established that connection, maybe we can start doing some things together. So if you guys decide to go to UH Manoa or any of those, kind of keep on Yeah, because then we could give you the information about the other clubs and possibly see if we can get one. So, like, so basically for Circle K, it's only if you go to Oahu or you go to um, Big Island. Actually, one year. For, um, are you asking about Hawaii um, in general? I'm asking like, how come, like, there's a bunch of community colleges too, and everyone's underneath the Hawaii system of education, so why can't we just all have those? Okay. 
it's kind of hard because um, as far as chartering goes, you have to specify which campuses. So for <coughs> ours, we, although it's UHC, though, we also include the uh, Hawaii Community College, which is right across the street. Um, if you're really into, if you really want to start a Circle K, and you want, but you don't want to go to one of those schools, um, try talk to us afterward because we had to go through the whole process of starting up ours because there, before that there was no Circle K at the UHC. So he's at George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> you feel old. <laughs> you are. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, like there's. There's never a no option as yeah, far as no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so if you guys want to know, like we'll have some free time to do some activities and whatnot, and if you just want to find out the whole process, you can talk to one of us. Okay, how many, so we're all part of the CNH district, right? How many people are thinking of going maybe Cali or the back? You're in love too. <laughs> there are schools in Cali and Nevada that have several cases. So, there's San Diego, so within our division, um, Paradise Division, there's San Diego State and UCSD. Those are the kind of big name schools within our division that have stood out. Um, there's also a bunch of other Cali schools that are in other divisions, such as San Francisco, Stanford, a lot of the UC schools. And for those of you that kind of want to go to Nevada or anything like that, there's UNLV and um, Reno. Those are also some pretty big names. Um, within our division, there is also California State, San Marcos, Grossmont, Mesa, and yeah, I mentioned all the other ones. So, if you really want to work with us and be a part of our division, because we're so awesome, especially me, those are, those are some of the options within our division. So, that kind of wraps up the presentation part. Okay, so if you want to get in touch with our club specifically, um, we have a Facebook page right there, facebook.com slash CKIUHH. Uh, we also have a Twitter, also CKIUHH. And uh, we should have a website before the beginning of the next school year we're working on it. So I know most of you guys have Facebook. So, if you want to do us a favor, you should go like that. Because we're awesome. <laughs> and then also, um, we post a lot of our activities and socials, projects, and stuff like that. So if you want to um, see what exactly we do, then it's a good way to just find out. I know some of our key club, the people within our um, key family, the key club, kind of like it and then kind of see what we're doing. Um, and then also, if you have any questions or want to contact us individually, here's our contact information. If you have anything about Circle K, college, anything in general, try to stay away from hey what's up because we have to study and whatnot. But anyway, um, or if you're ever in the Hilo area and you kind of want like a tour of the campus, we've done campus tours before, or if you want to meet some of the other members, because I know you probably think we're kind of weird right now, but not all our members are actually maybe some of them. But yeah, um, if you ever want to, if you ever want to like, meet up or have a class or anything that, feel free to contact one of us. Anything else? You guys like to add anything? Any? Francis kind of wanted us, me and Vila, to give our perspective on Key Club transition into Circle K because we were like two really active members of New York and he looked like you guys, yeah, have presidents. Well, it's a lot different than what Key Club is. Um, in Key Club, you really rely on your advisor a lot more, your faculty advisors a lot more than we do in Circle K. Like, our faculty advisor is at like half of our meetings because she has so many other things that she has to do, and we just keep her updated with minutes, and that's how she works <coughs> on top of us. But even when we were chartering, we didn't have her constantly there telling us, oh, this is how you have to fill out this form, and this is when it needs to be submitted by, so make sure you fill it by this date so we aren't late. We kind of just have to be like, do it on our own and try to get things done and be self-sufficient. And in Key Club, you have a lot more, like it's 
Key Club, you're a lot more sheltered, I guess. And when you get into Circle K, it's a lot more liberating. You're in college, you're free from your parents, sort of, more or less. And it's like, you can do whatever you want. So it helps a lot. Not whatever you want. Not whatever you want. Close. Close. But, you know, it, it helped me a lot with time management, like trying to get my studies, trying to get work, trying to get Circle K, and still have a social life somewhat in there, you know? It helps you, like, put your life into and then um, I just have like another thing to add. Um, for me especially, it was just a really hard adjustment from Keep Up to Circle K. Um, I had to learn to do things on my own and rely on myself or other people, but not my advisor to help get things done. And um, it helps me be more responsible, be more independent. Um, and also, although it's like difficult at first, you're going to realize in the end that it's a really good transition, although it's going to be hard, but it's good because it'll definitely help you when you get to the real world. You can't like, rely on other people. You're going to just have to do things on your own. So Circle K kind of helps you to start getting to do things on your own. I know it's kind of scary and sounds not as fun, maybe, <laughs> but there are options. There are fun parts of it. So like I mentioned icons and stuff like that. There's also a Decon. We don't really have a divisional convention because just because we're so spread out and it's hard to all meet at one place. But yeah, it's a lot of fun and it's really rewarding. And I feel like through Circle K, I've never prepared to go into the real world per se. Yeah. So, are there any questions that you are dying to ask about Circle K? or college, or if you must, about us. Press, what's your favorite color? It is <coughs> sky blue. <Aww. laughs> you ask, I ask. Blue. How do you feel? Oh, you can't ask me that because I was never a part of the key club. Aww. He's here. You know it though. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> he still tries to claim that like he doesn't know the cheer. Well. I want to throw a remix <laughs> I, 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 think I feel good! All I feel is so good! Uh, I feel fine! All of the time! Abola! 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 Abola!
but we have these little evaluations that we're going to pass out. So um, try to pay attention to Taylor as I pass out these evaluations that she explains to the for you guys. Okay, so we're going to be doing a project called Project Love, and it's basically to show awareness for those who have been affected by domestic violence, rape, sexual harassment, and all of that stuff. So you guys are going to be, we're going to pass out hard stencils, and you guys are going to cut it out on paper, paper, and then you guys can decorate it however you want, But and you guys can include messages to encourage those who have been affected by that kind of issue. And um, we have markers and scissors up here, and then later on we'll put all of your hearts on a, on a paper in the heart shape, and it'll be in the convention center, so you guys can see all of them later on in the afternoon. So we'll start passing out the heart stencils and scissors and paper, but you guys just have to share with everyone. So We're college students, we operate on a limited budget. Yeah, but yeah, you guys can make it work. Um, I think for that you can just write um circle K as you make it. If you give a good review.